Michael, it's great to have you back two weeks in a row. A uh, soft day. <laughs> soft day, thank God, in Bigara, Ryan. How are you? It's prouder, it's prouder than any son of Finn McCool I am to be here. <laughs> sitting on the couch two weeks later with your, with your good self. And I'd like to say thanks for the Cade Mila Falche. <laughs> And to all the people and the poor people of Ireland, not two potatoes to rub together. And, and me, uh, a humble old Irish gobshite. <laughs> Listen, uh, O2 next month, Michael, you must be thrilled. Are you looking forward to it? Very exciting for you? Oh, soft day, Masha the Hullo. <laughs> I was told a story many years ago by my grandfather, mm -hmm. the Tinker Flatley. <laughs> he said, a vicoline, soft day, mashe the hale. Be Jesus. Uh, there's no use in boiling your cabbage twice. But be the same token, there's no use uh, in fearing an ill wind when the haystacks are tied down. <clears throat> I haven't got a bull's notion what he was on about. <laughs> but it sure sounded pretty good. So what I want to say to you is I have more jizz in me legs than a pair of trout hopping out of the lock carp. And I have more wind in me chest then a pair of bagpipes <laughs> before the flat kill. So there's going to be the O2 in a state of chassis. <laughs> OK. You seem to be. <laughs> you seem to be in, in great physical shape. Are you in? in <laughs> well, thanks, Ryan. <laughs> I'm not too bad for a poor old Irish crater. <laughs> Pushing 78 years of age. Sure, God knows your would be too if your legs were insured for twice the national debt of era. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was looking at all those, I was looking at those swinge and tax cuts and the budget cuts, and I was thinking that the six billion I could take care of with me left angle alone. And how, how do you. Vietnam and Faulkner, by the way. <laughs> this is Vietnam, this is Faulkner. Down, boys. John Delaney, me old buddy, how are you? <laughs> what, uh, what? The FAI. What the? <laughs> so how did you say? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't do it. I must ask you, Michael. I'm sorry. I must ask you, how do you, how do you stay so positive in, in a world gone so... How do I what? Stay so positive. Positive. Well, a lot of people ask me that question, Ryan, and I think the answer would be the cash. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the McGillicuddy Reeks, the Comoran Mountains, and the Mountains of Morn, except they're all made of 50 euro notes. <laughs> the other thing that keeps me going, I suppose, is the Blarney. Yeah. Um, if you talk as much shite as I do, <laughs> you start believing it after a while. So, <laughs> what I would say to all those buckos out in Europe, uh, Jean Claude Trichet and Ali Ren and all those boys, yeah is, you know, just launching a brand, it's off day, thank God, because <laughs> our economy may be going down the toilet, but our Irish eyes are smiling. <laughs> Did you enjoy seeing uh, Michael Parkinson? Great yeah, to see you. Yeah, yeah, you know, can I just stop you there, Ryan? Can I just stop you and just totally change character completely? You're fantastic, right? You're fantastic. Okay, your show is fantastic and this is fantastic, okay? But the thing about your show is it's too fantastic. My show on Saturday night is going through the dregs, like you're just giving me nothing oh, to go on, yes, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. like you have Parky and Michael Flatley, that's brilliant. I get Twink and Linda Martin. <laughs> You know, think about it, like, you get your one who does the English patient, I get a mental patient, basically. <laughs> okay, it's not really fair on me, you're like a Bentley, a Jag, a Rolls Royce. Why am I the Nissan Micra of RTE? <laughs> okay? Well, Please, right? I mean, Miriam O'Callaghan wouldn't have to take this, would she? Well, did you get tips from Miriam, for example? Like, Ryan, you know, how long ago was I here? I was here, what? T two weeks ago, I was I'd here say. two weeks ago for Ireland's greatest person. By the way, you're looking really well. Yellow really suits you. I'll Twitter you later on that one. You Twitter me, I'll Twitter you. <laughs> I was here for Ireland's greatest person, mm. isn't that right? Now, yes, that's right. Who really won Ireland's greatest person? Okay, the person we voted for was somebody who was attractive, okay? Somebody who works really hard, yeah. But somebody, most of all, who had great legs and eight kids and it wasn't John Hume, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but you did well. And you're talking about uh, possibly going to the, the park at some point. Is that the case? Or yeah, the Aris, maybe. Whatever. I'll Twitter you later. Um, <laughs> big, uh, big rugby weekend, as you know. And uh, we have um, 
uh, things to look forward to in South Africa. And uh, are you looking... Are yeah, you... you see, the thing I love about this show <laughs> is that this is possibly, right, one of the biggest rugby weekends in our history. I mean, South Africa, the world champions. And Ryan Tuberty on the Late Late Show has a tribute to Johnny Dyer. <laughs> my question is... My question is... Mm. Why don't we have a tribute to Ronan O'Gara? Ronan O'Gara gets 100 caps this weekend, possibly the most brilliant number 10 we've had since the number 10 from Belfield. Ronan <laughs> O'Gara should be publicly thanked because Ronan O'Gara is more important in this country than Sky, and Sky is pretty important. That's because why I've developed a tribute, which I want you to play, right? Yes, of to course. Ronan O'Gara. Do, do you want to play it now? Play it yeah, now. Okay, play it now. Here's Ronan O'Gara tribute. Let's yeah, see. I know the last 15 minutes can be particularly grueling, not only in a sport like rugby, but also in other aspects of your life, like going to the theatre. I remember going to see something there last week, but I remember distinctly that it bored the whole off me. Hi, this is Ronan O'Gara. For as long as I can remember, I've been chasing silverware around the rugby pitch. But recently I realised there are more important things in life, like Lucas Aid Sport. <laughs> Lucas Aid Lucas Aid Sport gets you over the line. <laughs> so that's good. <clears throat> In other news. Uh, we saw a return of an old favourite of Deputy Michael Noonan back in the news. What has him exercised this week? Oh, yeah, well, the thing about Deputy... <laughs> the thing about Deputy Noonan I love is that he's a kind of a whispery little character. And we're going through one of the greatest recessions. I know you're a Fianna Fáil man, but you don't have to start laughing. <laughs> we're going through one of the greatest recessions we've ever gone through. And what does the government offer us tonight? Cheese. <laughs> huh? Well, I hope it's Swiss cheese, because most of their other policies are full of holes as well. <laughs> but I'll tell you now. Well, I'll tell you what this government reminds me of, though, Ryan Tuberty. And I know you're a political man, but we'll have no political talk tonight. <laughs> this government reminds me of cheese. Right? They're stinkier than Stilton, but they're not Stilton. They're flakier than Brie, but they're not Brie. Do you know what they are? They're not even cheese at all. They're fake. They're a whole bunch of Dairy Lee Lunchables. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What does Joan Burton make of all of this, I wonder? Does she...? Well, can I just say... <laughs> ..that I, first and foremost, Ryan, I am about the people. The people, the people, the people. Even if it sometimes I do sound irritatingly <laughs> like a human boo-boo <laughs> I have to ask you about Daniel O'Donnell. Is he still floating around? Is, he, is life good with him? <laughs> Sorry, who are you asking about, Ryan? Just, da <laughs> just checking, in, checking in on Daniel. Oh, you were asking about Daniel? Yes. So, sure, Daniel, Daniel's always floating around, he is indeed. <laughs> I'm kind of sick of doing him now, to be <laughs> honest with you. <laughs> How could you be? You've been having a great show out here, Ryan. I've been dying to come out for ages. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> now, now. <laughs> <laughs> 